Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today in this episode we are going to be looking at the topic corrosion corrosion or rusting okay the two go together all right so corrosion is like an umbrella covering what uh, uh both what rusting all right so rusting is under what corrosion rusting is a form it's a type of what of corrosion okay so now let us uh, go to the o3 school jam app and uh, uh, let's take some question let us see a question to show you that jam actually sets what question from this so we are not here to play at all this is 2023 question number 27 2023 question number 27 it says what is the chemical formula of rust which is formed on the surface of iron in the presence of oxygen and moisture all right a is giving uh, iron oxide FeO, they're giving uh, ion 3 oxide, Fe2O3, they're giving what? Uh, ion uh, 4 oxide, that's Fe3O4, then D, you're giving what? Ion hydroxide, okay? So now, uh, you are seeing the question clearly on the board, all right? So we're going to come back to this question when we are done with this class and many other questions on what on rusting. And please, do stay to the end of the class because at the end of class, when we answer questions, many things that were, they were, that were left unsaid during the class will be said. So please do not forget to like this video, like in this video, make other students easily find this video. Do not forget to subscribe, all right? So just click on that red subscribe button below this video. It is free to subscribe, all right? And of course, do not forget to keep what sharing. All right, and also do not forget to get this application. The O3 School Jam app, like I said, is all you need to succeed in your exam. Ask all the past questions, so you don't need to go and buy past questions outside. Ask what a classroom that has lecture notes structured according to the Jam syllabus, so you don't need to go and buy textbooks. Then you have what question search feature. We can search for question according to topics. All right, and the question that Jam has set under that topic will come out for you to answer. Then likewise, we also have. Uh, uh, the UTMA challenge that will conduct for students every Saturday by 10 a.m. You complete it to mate, get used to jam, pass question, get used to add jam, set question, get used to likely exam questions, or I see your score released every Saturday to track your progress and build confidence on the main exam. All this and more for a little token. Sacrifice that token, activate the app, and what? Get started immediately. All right, let's go to corrosion and rusting. Corrosion and rusting. Now, let us say we have a four materials. For example, let's say we have what an aluminium toy. Al an aluminium toy. Let's say we have what an uh, let's say a nail, an iron nail. Let's say we have what a copper rod. And let's say we have what a gold ring. For example, let's say we have all these four what uh, materials. All right. Now and then. Which of this material do you think what will corrode faster? Which of these materials between the aluminum toy, iron nail, copper rod, and gold ring do you think what will corrode what faster? All right. If you say the iron nail will corrode faster, you are right. If you say the gold ring will corrode far, far lesser, okay, you will be what will be correct. All right. Let's say you leave these four materials now outside. You just threw them away. All right, for let's say 20 years, then you decide to come back, come back to come and check. All right, what might have happened to these materials? All right, now you'll be what shocked to see that what the gold ring may not have corroded much. All right, you should be shocked to see that what the copper rod may not have what corroded much. You'll be shocked to see that even the aluminum toy may not have what have corroded what much. All right, why will that? Why do you, why is it that the nail, the nail will corrode what faster? It will corrode what much more better. It will corrode much more worse. It will have the worst what level of what corrosion. All right, is because what iron is very very reactive. Okay, it is very reactive. It's reactive more than copper. It's more reactive than more than gold. We did reactivity series. All right, the electropositivity series. All right, you can see in that series that what iron is what more reactive than copper and gold. All right, so. That is why the iron what we what we rust what uh, we rust or what we corrode what better. All right. So now, but why is the aluminum toy which is more reactive, aluminum and iron? Aluminum is more reactive than iron. All right. Why will the uh, aluminum not corrode faster than what than the iron? Okay. The reason why what the aluminum will not corrode faster than the iron is that aluminum is more reactive than what than iron. Then what happens is that this aluminum will quickly what react with what with oxygen. Okay. It reacts with atmospheric oxygen quickly to form what you call aluminum oxide. 
all right? It will form Al2O3. It will form this aluminum oxide. Once it forms this aluminum oxide, this aluminum oxide that it forms is very unreactive. It's very unreactive. So now, once it forms this, it now what? Yes, let's say this aluminum toy now. It now covers, it now binds with the surface of what? Of the aluminum or toy and what? And form cracks, okay? So it prevents what? Further corrosion to, from what? From happening because what? The surface now that now covers this aluminum toy is now this aluminum or oxide. Because if it covers it, covered it, nothing can now react with it again to now what could lead to what rusting. Okay, but the iron nail, all right, once it's what reacts with what oxygen, you see that what rusting will just, what will just occur. All right, so that is that for that. So in these four materials, the aluminum, uh, sorry, the iron rod, uh, iron nail, what we corrode faster. So corrosion is a term that we use for all metals, okay? But for rusting, okay? Rusting is what is specific only what you can use this iron nail now and say the iron nail as well as rust as what as they yeah, are undergone what rusting. All right, so now what is corrosion itself? We say corrosion is the formation of compounds on the surface of a metal when it is exposed to hair. We say what corrosion is the formation of compounds on the surface of a metal when it is exposed, it is exposed to hair, water, it could be hair, water, it could be what air and water, all right, or what an electrolyte. Like salt water, all right. So that is corrosion. So corrosion is the word formation of compounds on the surface of what of a metal when it is exposed to hair, water, or an electrolyte like what like salt water. All right. So usually when a metal corrodes, when a metal corrodes, it forms what oxides. It forms oxides or what is formed what hydrated oxides. All right. So when what a metal corrodes, it forms what oxides or what forms what what to call hydrated what oxide. So that is what we're now going to what use to what to explain from here. We cannot be able to explain what rusting, what rusting is. Okay, so rusting is like a degradation. Okay, degradation that happens to what to a metal. All right. So now let us see a reaction. Let us use a reaction to explain what rust. All right. Now we say rusting on its own is a what is a degradation process that occurs in the presence of oxygen and hair. All right. So the, the, the first happen firstly, you take iron, for example, iron Fe, okay, which is what in the solid state. All right, we react with what with oxygen and then react with what with water. All right, let's see. So plus what plus O2 plus what four hydrogen ion. Know that what rusting itself is a redox process. In fact, corrosion itself is a redox process on its own. All right. So iron is reacting with water. Let us get the reaction completely. We need what space. Let's say ion Fe. Let me just write the balance equation direct, okay? Because nobody will ask you to what to write the equation. All right. So iron, which is solid, then plus what oxygen, which is what a gas, then plus what um okay, plus four hydrogen ion to give you two. Um, ion 2 ion, all right, then plus what 2 H2O. This is a liquid, this is aqueous, this is aqueous, okay? So this is the first reaction. So ion reacts with what is oxygen, all right, and what for what hydrogen ions here, as you can see, then to give you what 2 Fe2 plus, this is what ion 2 what ion, all right, ion 2 ion plus what 2 H2O. Now this ion 2 ion now for that reacts again. With oxygen and water to now give you what rust, what known as what rust. Okay, so in that reaction, you have what 4 Fe2 plus that is the ion 2 ion now. This one is ion 2 ion. Okay, so it's now reacting further again with what this is aqueous to start with, reacting to, with oxygen O2 that is gaseous, then plus uh water H2O, six molecules of water, then to give you what now. 2Fe2O3 dot H2O plus H hydrogen ion. Okay, this is this is this is a dot here, all right? Dot two uh, dot H hydrogen ion. All right. So now this is this one here. This two Fe 
203.h2o okay is what we call rust itself this is rust all right that is rust so we say well rusting is a what is a degradation what process that occurs in the presence of what of oxygen which is hair and moisture that is water all right so that is rust this one is the rust itself iron first of all uh, react with oxygen okay and for hydrogen ion to give us first of all ion 2 ion right then the ion 2 ion form further react with oxygen and water to now give us this a ion 3 ion this is ion 3 please ion 3 oxide ion 3 oxide Fe2O3 is ion 3 oxide. Please take note of that. All right, that is ion 3 oxide. Fe2O3, ion 3 oxide. I'm resounding it again so that you do not what make any mistakes about it. Okay, so this is what uh, this hydrated what form of what of the ion 3 what oxide. Okay, so that is called rust. R O U S T. All right, so that's just what a simple representation. I just wanted you to have a view of it. So we say. Rusting is a degradation process that occurs. Let me put that down for you to see clearly. We say rusting is a degradation process that occurs in the presence in the presence of oxygen that is here and moisture okay and moisture that is what water all right so it's very important to know that the corrosion of iron corrosion of iron corrosion of iron is what we call what rusting okay so rusting is what is corrosion of what of iron all right corrosion of iron is what we call what rusting so we use rusting for what for iron all right corrosion of iron is called rusting corrosion of iron is called rusting all right so now all metals what happens to them all metals will corrode all right they will corrode all right but of course rusting is used for what for iron the corrosion of iron is called what rusting this is in a past question all right so please take note of that now when iron rust combines with water when iron rusts, it combines with what? With water and oxygen. When iron rusts, it combines with what? With water and oxygen to form what? The hydrated form of what? Of what? Iron what? To form what? The hydrated form of what? Of iron 3 oxide. Okay? We have seen that from the previous what? Equation. Okay? And um, there's a question on it from the what? From, uh, from the past question. So, please, you don't need to what? To be slack about that. Now, to prevent rusting, what do you do? Let's say you have our nail here. Which has what? Which has which has rusted? Okay, you have a reddish brown color. Okay, reddish brown, brown color. That is color of rust. All right. So whether a brown color, say reddish brown color. So once it has rusted, what can we? How can we what prevent what a a an iron from what from rusting? Okay, we can prevent an iron from rusting by what painting it. Okay, we can paint it, all right? We can also what uh coat it, all right? We can oil what moving parts. We can oil what moving parts, oil moving parts. Okay, like let's say like for example, let's say your bicycle, for example, okay, those chains, okay, they can get rusty, all right. Most of you that are packed your bicycle for a, a, outside for a very long time. When you come by, you see that your iron, there seems there's no grease again on the what on the chain. Okay, you see that what it becomes what become rusty, all right. So you can what prevent what rusting by by painting, you can paint it, okay, you can prevent rusting by what by greasing it or oiling what moving part or coating it with zinc. Okay, you can also what coat with zinc all right what we coat with zinc is called what? galvanizing galvanizing okay we call, we call it what galvanization or what galvanizing okay so is like we are galvanizing it or by coating it with zinc all right for example if iron now is coated with what with zinc if iron is coated with zinc we call that galvanized iron galvanized iron all right, so when we coat iron with zinc, we call it what galvanized iron. So these are ways of what of preventing rusting by painting it, by greasing. Okay, you can also grease, grease, greasing what the parts. Okay, by oily moving parts. All right, by coating with zinc. By coating with zinc, you call it galvanization. All right, or we call it what, what you are galvanizing. All right. So now when you coat iron, for example, with zinc, we call it what we now call that iron galvanized iron, galvanized iron. All right. So most of you that that have what for uh, tanks in your house 
or like for pump, when you pump water into your tank, so that tank that holds it, that uh, stanchion that holds water, water, okay, is usually made with galvanized material because of the weight of the water, so that it doesn't what crash it. So it improves the strength and also will prevent what the iron from what from getting what rusty. All right, so we can also uh, coat it what, with what with enamels. We can coat by to prevent rusting. We can also coat it what with enamels like silver and gold. But they are very expensive. They are very, very expensive. Okay, you can also coat it what with enamel, such as what silver and gold. Imagine you buying bicycle now and coating it with gold. You know how much gold you buy to to coat your bicycle. So it's a very, very expensive what option. All right. So that is why what we just what uh, galvanize. Okay, with zinc. So galvanization is what is very, very okay. All right. So these are ways of what of preventing what rusting. And of course, this is what rusting about. And very importantly, like I told you that what. Um, uh, rust, the formula for rust is what is Fe2O3, that's ion 3 oxide. Okay, ion 3 oxide. All right, so now let's go to the O3 school jump app and click take some questions. All right, please make sure you have the app on your phone and you are using it. So, the 2023 question we're looking at, number 27 What is the chemical formula of rust which is formed on the surface of ion in the presence of oxygen and moisture? Right, A. FeO B Fe2O3. So it becomes very clear now that the answer there is what Fe2O3, not Fe3O4. Okay, so our correct answer there will be option B. Now let's see another question. This is a 2010 question, number 36. 2010 36. They say when ion is exposed to moist hair, once uh, when ion is exposed to moist hair, it gradually rusts. This is due to the formation of what? A, they say hydrated ion 3 oxide. Is it? Yes. All right due to the formation of what hydrated ion 3 or I will say the formula of rust is what fe 2 3 dot what xh2o all right this is formula of what of rust okay this is hydrated because of this dot here is hydrated what ion 3 was uh, oxide so b they say anhydrous ion 3 oxide c they say anhydrous ion 2 oxide d said hydrated ion 2 oxide so our correct answer there will be option a so let's see 2010, number 24. 2010, 24. He said, iron can be prevented or can be protected from corrosion by coating it with coating the surface with what? A, say gold. B, silver. C, copper. D, zinc. Okay, the correct answer there is what is zinc. All right, is zinc. Okay, so that is where we have our galvanization. All right, coating what the iron what with zinc. All right, so we now have galvanized what iron. So that is what galvanization, and that's with coating with what with zinc. All right. Now this other method I mentioned is just to prevent what corrosion. Okay, what other method can use to prevent corrosion is what by coating with what enamels like silver and gold. Okay, can also paint parts. All this is general for corrosion, but for iron. Is galvanization that's what coating with zinc. All right, please let's get it clearly now. 2007, number 26. 2007 26 says the reddish brown rust, reddish brown rust on iron roofing sheets consists of if you see those people that use what iron sheets to what to roof their houses. Okay, over time you see brown, you see what very brown, what uh, uh brown color on top of the zinc. Okay, they say the reddish brown rust on iron roofing sheet consists of a. Fe2O3.3H2O, B, Fe3 plus H2O6, C, Feo.H2O, D, Fe3O4.2H2O. Okay, and of course, you know that the formula for rust is Fe2O3. All right, so that means our correct answer there will be what? It option, what? Option A. All right, so these are many more questions are on the O3 School Jam app. Hop on the app immediately, go to Play Store, download it, activate it, and start practicing your way to success. All right, like this video, share, subscribe. Alright, and of course, I will see you at the top. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.